big milk tanker that doesn't cost a lot of money available. Down on tractor. Alrighty. I mean we can we can hold off upgrading this tractor for a while. Like I said, it, it, we we want the we want the horsepower before we have the demand for the horsepower. We got the horsepower. We haven't got all of the horsepower I would like to have, but we've got sufficient, and we've got a buffer. How do I do that? Oh, dude! Don't hit the the big metal cylinder thing. It's a bad thing to do. Real world, that's an expensive thing to do. Okay. And we are back here. Unfold the doodad and... Hmm. I think I want to go down this way. So yeah, I think we've got we've got a fairly good application here. It's not super brilliant. It's not I hope it's not what more than what our crop needs. But as I said, we're planting barley and I don't think I think barley has a high demand for nitrogen. So it's not like we're straining anything. Yeah. We're not over applying anything, should I say. So that's fine. It's like probably about three, four more passes and we are done. Hopefully the tank lasts out that long. I think I've missed a little patch to the south side of the entrance. Maybe not. Maybe to the north side. What I've got up here is a patch on our right that doesn't seem to have been sufficiently uh, covered. I think maybe I missed turning around some point there. like one maybe two more rows and we are good with this one might be one might be two probably do two just to make sure and then uh, I don't know I was gonna say I should possibly leave this in the arable farm the problem is, is it's a slurry tank and all the slurry is on the other yard, so probably something we should keep on our original yard. thinking at the new yard we have we could possibly uh, consider adding a few um, greenhouses to it just because there's a couple of tight spots there that um, it might be difficult to maneuver equipment into small equipment not a problem big equipment might be challenged um, but possibly, oh, we're doing quite well here. Um, sticking some greenhouses in the corner might make the land productive without. Uh, okay, lift 
left it. Fold it, drive. So as we go through, I'll detail the potential here. And we do have a ton of solid manure, which uh, obviously we need to find somewhere to use. So this shed to the right here, um, I could demolish that and put in a greenhouse there. Um, because this is this is a tight entranceway, so putting equipment in there could be a little bit tricky. And again, the shed directly in front of us is sort of tucked into the corner there. I think it might be easier to reverse into it, but those silos might get in the way. So replacing the shed on the right with a, another greenhouse could be, we could have two. The rest of the yard, I think, is is fairly open, you know, reasonably open enough that we can drive things around and put things away without too much bother. But we can up the greenhouses, and with greenhouses we can then look at potentially getting some pigs. Yes, the Platinum expansion is part of Year 1 Season Pass, and I do have the Year 1 Season Pass. I'm probably not going to bother with the Season 2. Um, and that's really in part because in the past, while I've generally gone for all of the, uh, um, the DLC in the first season, um, second season, there's usually something that I really have no need of. And then the one that comes out September before Farm Sim 24, presuming that's the next one, comes out. I look at it and I say, I don't need to spend 10 bucks on a DLC that I'm only going to use for three months. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, uh, that's also not what I wanted to do. Let's try all this again. We will attach the thing to there and we will disconnect. Hello, disconnect. Oh, that's why the implement was lowered and thus was on. Oh, that's awkward. You have to lower the injector to, uh, yes, do the thing. And of course, the next time I come to using that, I'm going to forget that the injector has been lowered and is dragging on the floor. And actually, the act of lowering the injector turns the... Uh, tank on and thus limits your maximum speed. Yes, I um, I was looking at, um, I've been watching Dagawin and I must admit he's, I don't know, he's He's, not, he's either not as good as he used to be, or I know more about the game now than I did when I first started watching him, but he doesn't hold my attention as much as he used to. But um, I have been watching his new... Uh, what is it? Silver Run Forest series. And it does look... It, it looks like a really nice map. Um... Arthur's early videos were, hey, this is the equipment that you're going to get, which, well, yeah, fine, okay, whatever. I kind of prefer to see, let's see some gameplay. I'm, I think he did run a gameplay uh, session. Oh, where's my bale spike? Uh, I think it's the silvery thing on the left. 
yeah sorry I think he did run a, um, a let's play session last night but I wasn't available for that um, but yeah I, th I, I think you know part of the thing I want to see yeah more of the the features of the new map and so for Dagawin to go into hey let's do some arable farming sort of yeah well, you've just done 200 episodes on Obelu um, of arable farming can we concentrate on the logging thing for a while because that's really what this expansion is all about um, hmm, this is going to be little bit fun I think and maybe I should yeah um, I usually find someone like Clutch or DJ go and um, um, do some fairly good um, yeah you know, intros to new map videos um, with let's plays also Farmer Cops, another one I, I will watch from time to time. Although I kind of been I think he went on vacation and didn't produce a bunch of videos for a while and I've kind of skipped watching his stuff more recently. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take the single where am I gonna put the single? Stick it in front of the manure tank, why not? Or the manure pit. Oh. Well, I guess I uh, stabbed it with the lower two. That's the thing, this spike's really made for round bales, not for square. Oops. Okay. And also, because we had a bale stacker on the uh, contract, I got a feeling that that stack of bales is way too high for me to uh, gently uh, dismantle. Definitely having uh, using the weights a good thing. And then normally I don't, this farm's not really set up for square bales, but it was a contract, so that's what we did. And sink that down there and back out. Not too bad, I guess. Okay, how high can we reach? Deutz would have a greater reach, but it's still... I'm not sure it's going to get too much higher. Oh, those are only seven stacks. Mm. Okay, I guess... Uh, let's uh, see how this... Oh, don't, don't, don't do that. Very, 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 very carefully. Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, as we lower the spike, the, uh, the center of gravity just gets completely out of control. But that is kind of a thing. So stuff we've learned. This stuff is um, grass silage. At least it was last time I checked. Yeah, this is grass silage, 6,000 litres. The... Uh, the cow feeding robot does not accept these bales as uh, cow food mix. 
I could eventually get a feed mixer and uh, that would allow us to pretty much mix almost anything for the four food sources that cows need but in order to get the robot running we need whole crop silage so I either have to buy that or I have to um, make it and you make that out of cereal crops which have been foraged and um, or mowed so since we have the mowing gear um, we will probably make whole crop silage at the end of this year using our whatever mowers that we have when we get to that point of the year now one of the reasons I didn't um, uh, chop um, what is it um, mm. The thing that you do that's not rolling um, and does similar effect. Whoa, don't do that. Um, mulching. I didn't mulch our new field because it has been cultivated. Now, to my mind, that means that all of the uh, stuff. Uh, plant matter that you would normally mulch has been just ploughed into the ground so uh, there's nothing left to uh, to mulch there okay should be able to get I don't know I'm hoping that we can get uh, two, two more stacks side by side at the back there. And then I may go to three high. That's the problem. We're going to have seven. I'm going to have three left over. Yeah, I could go two high straight down the middle. Same walls. I'm not shuffling these far enough over to the left, of course, or the right, or the front. Front's a good name. Okay, so that loose one there, I will uh, drop on the floor and then we can pick it up the right way around. Okay, so. have run this bale trailer on the back of the Deutz with good 120,000 litres of stuff. So I'm fairly certain that the John Deere will not have an issue with all the bales that we're about to stack on this. And last time we ran round bales so they were all fairly precariously stacked. These square ones, not so much. Okay, Ooh. gotcha. We really should think about getting a, a normal weight for the back. Not sure how heavy this weight is, but it's uh, definitely something that uh, we seem to be uh, benefiting from. Okay, so I'm going to strap those two down. 
And as I said, I'm not sure they're going to fit on the back. I may need to uh, do some weird shuffling of bales. Okay. This is too heavy for our tractor, oh dear. Well, that really wasn't what I was planning. However, uh, well, it is what it is. as well. We'll just throw that over there. Okay. I'm too close to the wall so I'm getting out of the tractor in the wall which is uh, less than ideal. Should be able to stab that one. lower the spiky thing. There we go. And we'll pick it up. We'll put it on the other one. That looks better. And we'll stab the bottom one again. Stabby stabby. Okay. not to hit anything while we're loading this on the back of the tra trailer. Now, question, does that fit in that gap or not? Ooh, a little bit tight. Uh, it fits on this side, not on the other side, so... slightly easier way. There now. And because I'm not the bestest at uh, stacking bales. Okay, let's restrap. Okay, let's grab two more. Uh, you know what? I might grab two more from this side. Okay. And then the last three can just go on a singles each down the middle. So that's not too shabby, I guess. We did need to uh, cheat a little bit to get all those stacked on the back. I think for the most part we are good. <coughs> okay, let's 
Last two straps on. Oh, the, tra well, the strap goes there. Okay, whatever. And then we'll grab the last three bales. Put them in the middle and get this lot out of here. Now at the moment I, I'm really undecided whether I'm going to stick with round bales or maybe consider going square. The advantage with square, or the advantage with round, is it's far more efficient to ship them to the store. So, um, you know, 24 at a time. How many have we got on here? Two, four, six, eight. I mean, I'm putting 19 on this, and that is more, five more than a bale stacker can lift. But the bale stackers are just easier to uh, collect bales with. So round bales is just easier to travel around. We don't have a lot of arable fields around this yard. I mean, it's okay, admittedly. We've got that one there. We've got the one next to our old house. Uh, but most of this is grass. So if we make straw bales, we would still have to consider shipping them back to the yard. And so that's... That's moving bales around and we need stuff to be able to do that and I don't want to make 30 trips with square bales I mean we can get the Anderson uh, bale collector rather than the the stacker the Arcusin stacker so and there's an Anderson stacker as well but um, we don't have the shed height to be able to do things 